Hello, hello, hello. I'm Bike Again, your main main, the real Bill Real. Folks, you're being manipulated. If you have been paying attention to CNN, other major broadcasting networks, you are being manipulated. You are witnessing psyops galore. Trayvon 20.0. All right. All of these shootings are nothing more than an excuse for black people to start tearing shit up. Gloves are off. I'm going to tell you the truth. If I wanted to remain in the White House, this is what I would do. I would keep the pressure on Hillary Clinton, who does not deserve to be the president. Anybody with common sense uh, can know that. Just go and look at Benghazi. Okay? Just take a look at it, at the situation, what happened, what she was aware of. Okay, There's blood on her hands. There's much more blood, too. But that's that's not the purpose of this video. I would make sure that Trump runs and constantly puts his foot in his mouth. I would make sure that Bernie Sanders is associated with this Black Lives Matter movement, which is a bunch of horse shit, okay? Forgive my French today, but I, 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 I do not feel like playing around anymore, okay? I, I've got to tell you guys the truth, as I always do. And I will make sure that I have these shootings on CNN and every major network and I would make sure that the people that I called up and that I had a secret meeting with about two years ago were all doing their part writing open letters making videos appealing to your fear Making sure that my plan of calling for martial law was on schedule. But you can't tell that to black folks. Because one thing about black folks is black folks do not think logically. They do not think objectively. And that is what is meant, well, I'm paraphrasing here, in Jeremiah where it says they're like sodded, they're like children. Yes, black people are like children. You can control them with simple psyops. They don't think rationally. They don't. They don't see they're being manipulated. They don't see it at all. All this is oh, we're attacked. That we're being hunted. These are psyops, guys. Psychological operations. Military psychological operations that are put on the news. They're talking in code. They're talking in Masonic code. I mean, this latest one, it just I mean, it was clear. Guys on CNN with a freaking Masonic uh, pendant. You go and look him up. You realize he's a freaking he's a Mason. 
talking about this philanthro, cilantro, whatever the heck his name is, whatever. This girl is freaking streaming live on Facebook and all this. These are psyops, guys. This is made for TV drama to play on your fear. So that you go out and buy a gun. So that you will now start taking shots at the police. Who is there to serve and protect? Are there crooked cops? Of course. There's crooked lawyers. There's crooked judges. <laughs> There's crooked people everywhere. It's crooked freaking, um, I know it's hard for you guys to believe this, but it's crooked gang members. Yeah, I know. That's the hardest thing for black people to even realize. Black people don't think any black people are wicked at all, period. The more wicked they are, the more that they, they accept them. There's nobody saying, you know what? I'm sick and tired of gang violence in Chicago. I'm doing random drive-bys on gang members. There was a shooting over here on this street. I'm, I'm taking it to the street. I'm, I'm, I'm going to war against these gang members. Nobody says that. But let somebody shoot a black person and make sure it's, it's broadcasted. Make sure it makes CNN news. Make sure it's on all of the other networks. All of a sudden, black folks lose their mind. But you don't lose your mind if, you know, some guy from the hood, some gangster, some degenerate from the hood shoots a freaking a guy who had uh, ace the SAT and had a four-year ride to Harvard. You don't freaking protest about that, black folks. You don't. You only care about the lives of thugs. That's it. And they had to throw in this philanthro character. What I don't know I'm murdering the name. But they had to throw this in so that you can get, get this excuse out of your head and says, oh, well, you know, this guy, um, Alton Sterling, he was a thug. Which he was. This guy was. He, this guy had a long rap sheet. Okay? And, yes, he had been arrested for selling CDs. Yes. That's one of the charges. This guy had been arrested before for resisting um, an officer. And when they showed up at the scene, I've now found out, someone had called and said that he had waved the gun and threatened to shoot them. So, of course, in the logic of black people, they believe that the police were supposed to show up and just, you know, stay in the car and ask him, Hey, uh, Mr. Sterling, somebody said that you had uh, been uh, pointing a gun at them and uh, threatening their life. Is that true? According to black folks, that's what was supposed to happen. When he said, nah, 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 I'm good. According to black people, they were, the, the police were supposed to just ride off. Take his word for it. That's how simple-minded black people are. I got to paint the picture for you. This whole other shooting where the guy says, hey, I'm carrying or whatever and all this, that's a psyop. If you can't freaking figure that out, man, you're stupid. They can do these things, guys. They've been doing it. With the Eric Garner hoax. They've been doing this all along. Oh, and go and find out the uh, what the FBI said about the Orlando shooting. People didn't get start getting shot until 5 o'clock in the morning. When the SWAT team entered into the building. Nobody had been killed up until that time. The judge told you that. That went right over your heads. I know you guys are like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Pray for Orlando. I've said it once, I will say it again. Everything that you see on TV is programming. Stop listening to the celebrities. They're in on it. They're freaking Masons, man. The people at CNN are freaking CIA. 
They're all playing on your emotions. They want you to go tear your cities up so they can put the National Guard in your neighborhood so they can start rounding you up when you, when you come out and you protest. They want to start rounding you guys up. Start harvesting your freaking organs, you idiots. Stay in your house. Get your lives together. Turn to God. Turn to Yeshua. Turn to Yahweh. What the heck are you guys doing? You guys think you guys are going to be able to fight against drones? Huh? Do you know that a drone can take out your whole freaking neighborhood? How dumb can you be? But yet, you're going to have protests after protests. Phony stories pop up left and right. And you're going to have dumb people taking the Twitter, taking the social media, taking the YouTube. Talk about, oh, I, I don't feel safe. I got black sons. Don't shoot. My hands are up. <laughs> like, shut all that shit up. Enough is enough, man. This is all designed to play on the weak-minded black people. This is a psychological operation in effect. To put fear in you, to take you and put you into concentration camps. I told you guys this with my ramble over two years ago. I don't know what it's going to take for you guys to turn off the idiot box. Go watch Bamboozle. Go watch it exactly what's happening you got nothing but these coons on tv these people who are who are masons wearing certain colors saying certain cool words when you hear the guy say is there any help for the widow's son i mean freaking hey man what are you an idiot do you not know that that is cold that's what masons say do you not know that when you have the boy old dude, <laughs> I miss my daddy. <laughs> and, the, and the freaking wife it hasn't shed one freaking tear. Huh? She's reading off of a freaking letter designed to mess you guys up. You guys don't even realize that these letters are written by the CIA because they know how simple and stupid black people are. They know you. They know you. And they're sitting back and they're laughing. They're like, look at these dummies. Look at them. They can't tell when they're being played. They can't even tell when the freaking hook is in front of their faces. They don't even know. They just bite at anything. Look at them. How long, Jacob, will you be an idiot? How long? When will you wake up? Snap out of the sleep that you're in. And think objectively. How long? Don't say that you have not been warned. I told you guys this rascal was not leaving the White House. I told you that. And this is what's going on right now. This is what is afoot. I'm willing to say, too, the, the shooting of Alton Sterling, I believe, was a psyop. Yes, I do believe it was a psyop. That's all I got. Peace.